Here's what's happening right now at 10. Demanding answers. A woman on life support after an incident in the backseat of a patrol car. What the hell is this? She's, they take a long time for everything, man. I tried it. I tried to take the hospital. My, my boss told me not to do it. Her husband now questioning the actions of the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. Now, he tells us he called 911 because his wife was acting suicidal. But instead of taking her to the hospital, he says deputies put her in the back of a patrol car and then she used the seatbelt back there to choke herself. Our Jacob Rascone, live outside the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office with more on the story. Jacob? Yeah, the Texas Rangers, Bill and Dominique, are investigating what happened tonight. The husband says that he called police because he needed help for his wife, who he has says suffers from mental health issues and as well drug issues. He said he warned them not to leave her alone, but he claims they did just that for about 30 minutes, and that's when the video picks up. Man, I've been trying to tell you a long time. Fort Benton County Sheriff's deputies can be seen pulling Vita Miller from the patrol car. Vita, wake up, Vita! Vita, wake up, man! Vita, 39 years old, is brain dead after choking herself with a seatbelt in the back seat. She breathing? I can't tell. What the hell is that? She, they take a long time for everything, man. Vita's husband, Ruben Velasquez. I was just trying to get her help. That's why I called the police to try to give, give me some help. Ruben and Vita have an 11 year old son, also named Ruben, heard on the recording asking his mother to come back. Damn, Damn Vita, she was doing real good, man. Because I kept on telling her, she's suicidal. She, Y'all need to take her to the, to the hospital. They didn't listen. They, they ain't listen. I tried it. I tried to take the hospital. My, my boss told me not to do it. To take his mind off what happened, the younger Ruben attended tonight's Little League baseball game. His mother at a nearby hospital on life support. I kept on telling man, she's a psych person. She's going to do something stupid. They didn't want to listen. So when we reached out to the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office, they just directed us to the Texas Rangers Office. They said once the Texas Rangers finish their investigation, then they will release that information to the media. By the way, Vita Miller is on life support only, her husband says, because her organs will be donated. But she is brain dead, he says, and after her organs are donated, they will pull the plug. Reporting live at the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office, Jacob Rascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News.